Hey, what's happening gamers? This is Damn Ron. We're playing Gears 5. This is part of my Master Escape series, which brings us to the Mist. This is the final uh, map in Operation Force. Let's get right into it. The modifiers we have on this map, we've got Strength in Numbers. So Sires are going to be more prevalent, but they're going to be easier to kill. Regen Penalty is going to slow down your health regeneration by 50%. There's also Reflective Shell Scions. So as you damage them a little bit, they're going to put a Reflective Shell on that's going to hurt you if you continue to damage them. There's also Freezing Grenadiers and some usual suspects more health more lethal and iron man so really from a modifier standing perspective the most worrisome modifier is going to be those freezing grenadiers because they're going to have overkills which obviously fire two shots kind of per trigger pull per se so basically if you're close enough to them they will instantly kill and shatter you so that's a very dangerous aspect to this map with that said let's look at the characters we have coming into this map and as i've mentioned in prior videos keep in mind they said when operation 5 comes out they're going to separate the characters from classes so essentially the characters that i'm showing you are the classes that you're going to want to use if you come to this video following act 5 but we've got kate for all of her shotgun abilities we also have Foz for his uh sniper abilities there's going to be some long shots right in the beginning of the map there's also going to be some areas where his ultimate's going to become very helpful as to take out a few enemies before we enter that area. Also, we have Cole in here. Cole's going to be running his, you know, abilities that are going to allow him to dash and bass and explode enemies. His ultimate's going to be very helpful. And he's also just a tank um, when he's sprinting with his Coltrane abilities that make him very difficult to kill. The good thing about Kate with this particular level is there's a lot of Grenadiers. Obviously, with that modifier of freezing Grenadiers, there is a lot of Grenadiers deers on this map and there's going to be plenty of overkill ammo for us to get and there's also a lot of snipers on this level so there's going to be a lot of snipers uh, uh, ammo for Foz to pick up um, so these are really good characters to kind of bring into this map uh, so just keep that in mind one of the things that uh, you know to be honest with you guys the mist is actually one of the easiest uh, master difficulty maps in the game and one of the reasons for that is because the character setup that I'm showing you makes you be able to take your time and move your way through it and noticeably one of the modifiers that are not active on this level is faster venom so the venom essentially moves at a very slow pace which allows you to take your time and that's really the key to this level is just taking your time there's no reason to rush there's going to be plenty of ammo and generally uh, the venom is not going to be pushing you uh, to kind of get through sections very quickly so you can kind of sit back with Foz. you can almost treat areas of this particular map like uh, horde mode right you kind of trigger the enemies and you can kind of sit back and pick them off with Foz. and then kate can kind of be your close quarters person who's kind of laying into people with the overkill so you saw we kind of cleared out this first set of enemies and already we've got plenty of ammo right in this beginning there are several ammo boxes uh, right there on top but also don't forget about going down uh, below you because below you are several additional ammo boxes that you can grab now when we enter into this section here what you want to do is position Foz right there on that kind of balcony where I just was and so he's gonna be back there and he's gonna be sniping as he can but Cole and Kate need to immediately continue to go across and then shoot enemies as they're coming up this ramp. You do not want them to overwhelm you. So you can see I'm able to bleed out these enemies. Now there's a very, very important thing about this level that I just showed you. Those Scion enemies are gonna activate that reflex shield at about 50% of their health gone. So you saw me actually pull out my Talon and shoot it a little bit to kind of trigger that. The reason I did that is because if I hit a Scion with my overkill and then he activates his shell ability, the bleed damage from my shotgun is actually going to hurt me. I, even though I'm not actively shooting the Scion, if they're still bleeding from damage that you've done, that will also kill you. And your shotgun should be powerful enough that if it is bleeding and the reflect you know, happens, it's going to down you. All right, so what I like to do is I'll sometimes, and you'll see it as I progress through this level. And again, we're gonna have a lot of time to talk about things. This level's, you know, taking your time. Uh, the whole idea behind, quote, the mist 
uh, in the sense of that being the name of the level is you can actually kind of see this mist right in the kind of atmosphere but it doesn't really change anything it doesn't make things difficult to see um, so you know to me it's kind of meh it's not really that great of a level to be honest but anyway the scion thing you see, you're gonna see it several times as I go through what I like to do is actually just shoot them one time and I'll actually miss the second shot of my overkill shot because I don't want to put too much bleed on them I'll just hit them with one shot and that'll generally take them down close if not all the way to halfway and they'll activate their shield and then I'm good or if they're close then I'll just whip out my Talon for an additional couple shots on them all right, same thing goes for Foz too. Uh, you know, he doesn't want to shoot them in the face when they have a reflect on, right? Because that will down him pretty instantly. Cole's really good. You saw him pick up that Lancer. You can indeed chainsaw all of these sires that are run up on you. But uh, one thing I'll mention is with the modifier, it brings a lot of them, but they have less health. As we go up the stairs here, this is a great place for uh, Cole to go ahead and use his first ultimate uh, in this area. So he's gone ahead and taken off. And the reason is because there's going to be several elite drones, several poppers, and a few sires. So he just basically ran up here with his ultimate ability and took everybody out. And while he's doing this, and as you're progressing forward in the map, one of the things you have to keep an eye out for is your back um, as you progress sometimes this level will spawn sires behind you but as I mentioned with their lower health you can actually kill them just with two shots from the overkill so this is the first place that uh, Foz used his ultimate you saw him kind of shooting uh, that try shot into the wall there he's actually using his ultimate and he was trying to take out as en many enemies down here as possible this is kind of the first relatively difficult part of this level and the reason is because you know it kind of tricks you it kind of baits you into coming out but as I mentioned the venom is slow enough that we can take our time you think there's only a couple drones ahead but then all of a sudden there's a bunch of poppers and a couple scions come out and again you saw me whip up my talon and get and trigger his reflect to go ahead and activate i can't stress how critical that is right you don't want to be doing bleed damage to these guys while they activate their shield that's why i'm kind of being very hesitant in my shot so there boom hot shot went ahead and finished that drop shot with a headshot it blew up and, tr and triggered the other one to activate his so we didn't get any bleed damage reflecting on this that can be honestly one of the most devastating parts of this map is the runs going great and you end up killing yourself so to speak because you're reflecting your own damage onto yourself so what I mentioned earlier is taking your time. I can't really stress that enough in this particular level. You can see we're really just taking our time here. And in fact, I actually got, I fell victim to my own trap. I was like, oh, okay, we're done. I, I'm ready to go advance. And I round this corner and damn, there's still two drones there. I end up getting down. I think my buddy saved me. I bleed this guy out, but I get shot uh, by the sniper in the back here. Um, but just take your time in that area. There's deceptively more enemies right here, right before the safe room than you realize. So that's actually going to wrap it up for the first half of the miss. So again, not too bad. As long as you take your time, you really shouldn't have too much difficulty getting through this. And if you're not really trying to master all of the maps in Gears 5, which you should because it's fun and each map is different but there is that xbox achievement just to master one operation four map and master one operation four horde map um so if you're just like an achievement hunter i mean i am achievement hunter i try to get all the achievements in every game i play but if you are just going for that achievement i would say this is the map in operation four that you want to do it's kind of crap you know if you may have already kind of gone for it and this map just came out it's the last map to come out in operation four um, but this is definitely the easiest master difficulty map in operation four by a long shot because some of them uh, actually operation four is full of pretty challenging maps so moving forward here, we're gonna progress into this room. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the right-hand side. There's gonna be a bunch of drones. There's gonna be a bunch of juvies coming at you or poppers coming at you. And uh, be careful right here. These guys like to throw expert grenades uh, and some of them throw shock grenades. And that, look at that grenade. I mean, that is one of the best grenade throws I've ever seen. It landed on the corner of that wall. I was like, dude, I, you know, GG to that bot. 
but we're gonna take our time here and there's one thing that's gonna happen that's gonna start in this particular portion so again there you go be very very careful of those shock grenades they're very accurate but you're gonna also face your first warden of this level and the warden also gets the reflective ability that the scions does even though the uh modifier says scions get a reflective ability well actually the warden uh, does as well so you're gonna see it right there trigger about halfway so i'm not shooting him with my bleed as soon as it goes off boom boom we're gonna bleed his face off you can kill a warden very fast with the bleed damage from the overkill with kate so that's what you want to do i didn't even see that bopper there when i was playing holy crap he was standing right at my feet i tried to jump he was camouflaged wow anyway this is a fun map, I mean, because we can just chill here, we can kind of chat a little bit, um, you know, I will say big shout out to uh, Malicious and Hotshot, these are two of my homeboys, we have been banging out every horde map on Master Difficulty together, every escape map on Master Difficulty together, um, we've become pretty good friends via this game, um, those of you that are on my channel, if you haven't played Gears 5, um, it does have some bugs, right? Um, in multiplayer, there's a lot of things that the coalition need to fix up. Um, the load times are a little long, but with that said, escape mode is very fun, and I really enjoy the variability they bring with the maps and the different ways you gotta tackle things. So, uh, just take a moment to say that since we've got some time on this map. Again, just taking our time. We're just relaxing, have a beer, you know, do whatever your heart desires. So as we move in um, past that section, once you kind of take out that uh, warden, you're pretty much in the clear to go into that ammo room, refill your ammo, um, and get kind of progressing on. Once you come around this corner, we're kind of at one of the final hallways, all right? And this is where, you know, earlier Foz used his ultimate ability and was just having fun with the try shot, but this is really where you want him to use his ultimate because there's a lot of enemies in this room. So you want him to, before you kind of go in there and trigger everything uh, to come at you, Hotshot just took a fun shot at me there, uh, you know, before you kind of head into this room and everything aggregates you and starts pushing up in this hall, way use Foz's ultimate and take out as many enemies as you can uh, particularly all those shotgun type enemies and it's gonna make it a little bit easier because once you actually push up then the enemies start spawning in there's several scions that you're gonna have to deal with and you want to just take that same approach take note of the mini map in the bottom right the venom is nowhere to be seen all right so like i said keep that in mind you have time trigger these enemies and then take your time um, i actually pushed up a little too far right there so i just used my ability to fall back you know there's no real point in using her ability to kind of run around and execute people because there's so many poppers and things like that that you might just get down while you're in the animation of the execution so as kate on this level i just save her ultimate for any time that i need to like oh crap i got to get out of here type moment right um, again, but take your time with these scions. Like I said earlier, the reflect on the scions is the most dangerous part about this mission, and it's not really all that dangerous. But you can see we're just falling back, we're taking our time, we're letting them come to us, and then now we're gonna start progressing through this kind of final hallway and um, to the door. Keep in mind though, uh, these sires, they're not only gonna come up from in front of you, but they're also gonna come from behind you as well, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now we're gonna press up here. There's gonna be some snipers on top of that ledge up there. Foz can either take them out. Malicious picked up uh, one of those over, or those uh, salvos and just kind of launched them up there. And so you can actually see the exit in the distance there, all right? But what you're gonna see is, you know, if you wanna watch it and hang around, um, we're just taking our time, you know? There's gonna be a lot of enemies that spawn back there, and there's also gonna be another boss type enemy, a carrier that's gonna spawn. But for some reason, the carrier doesn't really press you all that much. So you can kinda just take your time and let all of the, you know, drones and sires and all that just kinda press you and take them out as they're coming at you. At you really again there's no rush there's no venom um, that's probably the, honestly the easiest part about this map is that you're not forced to play quickly and that makes this very easy because considering the sires don't have that much health and you've got Kate with an overkill and Foz with a sniper and 
You've got Cole just cleaning up anything that gets really close with some melees, and you also have his ultimate ability to rely on. If things get hairy, it's very easy. You guys aren't going to have any problem with this map. You know, you're really just going to enjoy it, hang out, you know, get your cards, and get through this map. I found it very fun. You know, I'm just kind of watching it. So look here, I'm getting blasted by Cole. Thanks, Cole. Thanks, Malicious. Appreciate that holla. But uh, we're going to take out these last few enemies here. And the door hold's also pretty easy, too. Um, oh, uh, these claw enemies are vicious. Um, but the door hold here, so there you go. That's what um, his ultimate's all about. I think in uh, on this level, you know, Coltrane's ultimate ability is kind of like a oh crap moment, right? He's always got that on reserve. Um, if things kind of hit the fan a little bit, he can activate that and clear out really anything that's around you uh, or just glitching body parts. But once, so what I wanted to say though is, is just take your time, fall back, and take out all those enemies as they come at you. Don't worry about the carrier. And then when everything's gone, you can just roll up to the carrier with your custom Nasher with Kate and blow him away you don't need to worry about the carrier until the carrier is the only thing left and then just walk right up to it and just destroy it the custom nasher does work just it's amazing and then the door holds pretty easy because um you know it's gonna have again a lot of sires and poppers but you really only need to shoot them one time with Kate's bleed ability, assuming you've got it, you know, five, level five at least, maybe level four will work too. You don't have to take a couple shots, um, but as long as you put that bleed damage on them and the poppers, you're gonna be in the clear, right? You don't really have to worry about the scions on the door hold too much because they walk so slow. They're unlikely gonna get through the door anyway so that's going to wrap it up for the mist that's going to wrap it up for operation four and in fact all of the escape maps we have all the master guides done for now we're completely caught up so we're waiting for operation five i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you like hanging out um this is kind of like a have fun and chat kind of video because it was a longer level but a slower level so i hope you all enjoyed it hopefully i'll see you in the next uh, escape map when operation five comes out and hit that like button subscribe if you like my stuff as always and we'll see you next time